Top of the morning to you. I don't care if it is morning where you are. I just woke up, so no matter what time it is, it is morning to me. Ah, feels good to be back here. A little bit of a note though, however, this may come to a shock to many of you, but I will no longer be reacting to bad magic. Unless it's my own, or unless it's somebody that approves it. Before you before you dislike this video, give me a shot, give me a chance. I've upset some people in the magic community uh, over and over again with these videos. I know they get tons of views, and they get tons of likes, and they get tons of subs. The downside is they actually hurt people, they do. And the people in these videos have written to me, and some videos I've taken down. So now I've, I've, I've taken down a bunch of them. This channel has has grown into a really good positive thing uh, for magic, for magicians, whether it's learning on, on practice or on theory or just goofing around, you know, tips and that type of thing. And I really like where this channel is going. Uh, the positive nature of this channel is really, really fun. I just don't, I don't want to include that negative thing anymore. There's room for me to react to videos without ruining someone's livelihood. So I kind of feel bad about, so like I, I do and I don't because I think satire and comedy is fine. When you put something online, I mean, expect people to judge it just you know I will judge it anyways but I just won't be doing it like publicly uh, there won't be any public mocking of people anymore and I hope you guys understand that you know I don't want to be a hypocrite I tell you guys oh work hard you know it's okay if you're if you're introverted and you're trying and then I make fun of you for being introverted and trying and so I, I don't want to do that anymore I feel kind of bad about that but that being said we're gonna be reacting to my videos today. I can do that all I want. I can make fun of this guy. I can laugh at this guy all I want, which is fun. So we're gonna laugh at me today. So the first video we're going to be looking at today is one of the very first videos I've ever done in magic slash cardistry. This is like six years old. And then we're gonna look at another video that I did a couple months later. I've got like six or seven videos stockpiled up that you guys may have never seen of me. Now the editing in these videos are like, they're shot well, the music's good, the editing's great. However. However, the subject, which is this guy, is a bit cringe. I mean, you're gonna see me without a beard, without tattoos, and you're gonna see where I started. And I'm okay with showing this because you know what? Without these videos, I wouldn't be here today doing this video for you. All right, so this first video is entitled Geil, which, uh, which is a German word, which means like cool, awesome, but it also means horny. It's weird. Can't believe I'm doing this. That's a good spring. Look at that mustache. Look at these cuts. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> those shots were good, man. I like those lens flares. Oh, a little bit of a dribble. Yeah, these were really bad. I mean, compared to what I am now in terms of flourishing and stuff, I really, I've come a long way. I don't remember that flourish at all. I'm glad I don't do that one anymore. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the worst snap change. Oh my God, the worst snap change. So you know, like when I taught the snap change, I'm like, oh, you can't do like the three finger to one finger snap. That's exactly what I did. See guys, humble beginnings. That's what it's all about. All right, keep watching. I don't know what that was. Uh, I hit the flash with a flash like that. This is just... <laughs> Can we go back to that? Remember this face. It will haunt you. The beard really does make a difference, doesn't it? As opposed to a mustache. <laughs> Look at a perv. The worm. Gotta get the worm in there. Worst color change ever. And the flash. <laughs> <laughs> just me goofing around. Man, I look so young. Oh my god. And I've mentioned this before, you know, like these. Oh damn, I can't even do them. And I always laughed at them. But I always told you that myself, I'm guilty of these things as well. Which is one of the reasons why I can laugh at it. Because I can look at myself and be like, hey, you know what? I've been there, so I know what it's like. I have nothing really to be ashamed of other than the lack of facial hair makes me look, makes me look strange. <laughs> uh, other than that, like, I think this whole video shows, like, my love for, uh, my love for what it is I do. And, and the music was great. The editing was fantastic. Uh, the moves were questionable, but again, like I didn't have the greatest set of skills when it came to flourishing. I was just starting out in cardistry. This was like six years ago. You know, using what little I knew to create something like this. I mean, that was really cool. I'm really, I'm really proud of that, and I still, I still am proud of that. I would always be proud of that. It's just hard, you know. It's hard to look at yourself. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that one. And if you think the cringe fest is over, let's look at the next one entitled "Poof Magic." Here we go. Oh, the skills. 
Again, music and editing on point. Oh, cool little combo. <laughs> You guys like the mustache? I think I should rock that mustache again. Here we go. Oh, nice. All right, flourishing skills are getting a little bit better. Take that back. God, I don't even remember these changes. I think that was from Daniel. Oh, the card bite. Oh, the mustache though. Oh, that's cool, that's Rapture. All right, let's see. Flash. Oh, the flash is real. <laughs> I might as well just like. That's basically what it looked like. Oh, I'll get warmed up here, folks. So that was indeed uh, myself with a little mustache goatee. I wonder if I should rock that ever again. I think I like the beard. I think the beard for life. Honestly, I've never shaved this beard as long as I live. Should we look at one more? I feel like we should look at one more. And again, if it weren't for these videos, I wouldn't be sitting here today in this house in front of in front of this camera. You got to start somewhere and you got to end somewhere. And and I'm I'm proud of these beginnings, man. I can I can laugh at myself, but I can also see I still have dignity. Okay, there's still some dignity left in me. All right, let's let's crush whatever dignity I had left. All right, so for this next video, I've removed the audio because the audio was just, we grabbed it online somewhere. This was before we kind of knew about copyright situations. And uh, so I've replaced the audio with another audio track that I found on Epidemic Sound. Mm -hmm. Am I homeless? <laughs> just like, what am I doing? Got this big old ugly suitcase. And I carry a deck of cards in it. No, look at this. Look at the lack of tattoos. I look so naked. That wasn't too bad. These shots are beautiful. I like that little transition shot we use there. <clears throat> That's a nice shot. This is nice, back it up. The color grading is also really good on this video. That was a pass, not bad. This, right here, ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> I like this shot too, between the bars. I'm happy with that video. Lack of facial hair and tattoos makes me almost unrecognizable to my own mother. The video was great. Editing was great. I mean, color correction was on point. Uh, this was also, this is like, yeah, five years ago. So yeah. All right, that about wraps it up for like me looking at myself and uh, poking fun, but not only poking fun, cause uh, this is a reacting video. I wanted to I wanted to take a look at these videos. You know, it's kind of nostalgic for myself to have a look at these. You know, realize how far I've come. The production quality even back then was straight up fire. And that's something that I want to push on you guys a lot is, you know, these videos, although I had friends who knew how to work a camera and knew how to edit, if I didn't, I would seek them out and I would pay them for their time. Uh, because I thought even back then, how important it was to set yourself apart in terms of quality. Again, my buddy Franco Pascali's video that he put up recently, uh, if you haven't seen it, do check it out, it's on Vimeo, uh, is a great example of quality because there's not a ton of magic or flourishing in that video, but the quality of the video elevates the video to new heights where you see just enough of the magic and cardistry to be like, okay, this guy's legit. You get a feeling of professionalism and it really sets yourself apart from a lot of the other creators out there who are just filming stuff with their phones. These type of videos that incorporate great editing, color correction, lighting, sound, 
sound, music, you know, videography, make for a really good package. Although my skills were pretty crappy in the first ones, um, I would say pretty crappy. For myself, for, I'm basing them on my standards today, not on my standards before. I thought my skills were lit, you know? Now, I look back at them and I'm like, ugh. And I'll probably look back on myself in 10 years and say the same thing. That being said, I'm super proud of what I did and they served their purpose in that time and place. So I guess what I'm saying is just, uh, if you're gonna do some videography, if you're gonna do some like video montage, try to be as professional as you can. You don't have to be the best flourisher. You don't have to be the best magician. You can mask those things with like nifty transitions and, and uh, focus points. It's all good. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for sticking through this cringe fest with me. I have more of these and I have some, actually I have some probably the worst ones of all coming up. Uh, I just have to get around some copyright stuff. So re-editing these videos a little bit, but oh, so good. Uh, that being said, thanks for watching. And if you did like this video, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It does help the channel out a lot. It means a lot to me, thank you. And if you wanna drop a comment below, feel free. Let's have a conversation about it. Let's have a conversation about videography. What are your thoughts on camera magic and on magicians you know, doing magic for the camera? And on that note, subscribe if you're not already subbed and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace out.